Hello everybody. So a little review now of um, Food by Evernote. This is going to be a quick little review as uh, there's not too much to this app. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, this is your main screen. You got your settings up here. As you can see, you have, oh, sorry, here, your main screen. Click the plus, add a title. I don't really have any food in front of me, so uh, we'll call this a, uh, we'll call this leather. Click on places. I'm at home right now. There's nothing around me, but usually a list of places will pop up here. Um, or you can you know, name your own home. Done. We're going to tag it however you want. Uh, tasteless. Because leather is tasteless. Oop. I spelled that wrong. Sorry. Tasteless. And anyways, there's a, pre a bunch of pre... Um, Free tags already selected in there. Meal notes. Uh, don't try this at home. There you go. And then last step is you take a picture. And I'm going to take a picture of my leather right here. Oops. I turn my phone to vibrate. click the use and I can add a caption so here you go you can add several photos you can uh, do a process of let's say you want to make this as a recipe um, you can write all this and then document it photo by photo as you go through the steps with little captions underneath each one um, you can choose from your library and then you can post to Facebook post a, a tweet or email it and here you have what it what your list will look like so for uh, all you foodies out there pretty cool app also if you're into making little recipes for yourself I have a feeling that this can become very handy if you have a Twitter or Facebook page um, and you want to share your step-by-step -step recipes um, I haven't seen it yet how it posts on Facebook or Twitter uh, what the link looks like, but this could be actually very useful for anyone looking to start a, a food blog of any sorts. So get this on your app list, download it, it's free, and uh, if you like food, I'm sure you'll use it tons and tons. So take care, have fun, see you later.